push to fight for the right and to build the It's official, the army is turning blue. But a changing uniform is nothing new to soldiers. As the nature of war evolved as well as the demands on the soldier, the uniforms changed along with it. But one thing is no different, the individual soldier's responsibility to care for his uniform. No one knows this better than soldiers in the 3rd Infantry Regiment, better known as the Old Guard. We take pride in what we do down here and our standard is perfection. Everything must be perfect on these uniforms before they go outside in front of the public eye. Soldiers in the Commander-in-Chief's Guard wear the first official uniform approved by General George Washington. At a rehearsal for this year's Spirit of America performance, Private First Class Rossi demonstrates how the challenges of a uniform haven't really changed. Uh, they're itchy, very itchy. It's very hot. I mean, just I mean, just right now I'm sweating just standing here like this. So. After the shirt, tie, and wool pants comes a wool vest and a blue overcoat. Why blue? Because the British were the red coats, so they said, well, go out and get us a color that's not red. And so they picked blue, this opposite of that. But that's hearsay, so nobody, nobody knows for sure. In the 18th century, this is what the first American soldiers lived, worked, ate, slept, and fought in. That's all they had. They had this every day. And I don't know how they did it. They were, they were tough back then. They really were. With a fresh new perspective, I visited the Sentinels at the Tomb of the Unknowns to get some ideas on how to take care of my uniform. This uniform is patterned after the, the late uniforms of the cab from the 1950s. In over 50 years, all the tricks that we've learned on these uniforms, it's pretty patterned and it is tradition. Whether it's shining the shoes, shining your scabbard, cleaning your brass, or taping a soldier off, Tomb guards custom fit and alter the uniforms to create their perfect look. I asked if they had any particular tips or tricks they could pass on. We do a thing called torsing the blouse as well. Any excess fuzz or any, uh, any residue from tape or anything like that will burn off with a lighter. We'll use a spray. Some people use Axe uh, Cologne and they'll, they'll torch their blouse. If you shy away from using open flames on your uniform, Masking tape will work too. We'll use a, a microfiber. This is the best thing that we've come up with to use for wiping down the brass. So it seems that the army going blue is more like the army going back to blue. And if soldiers are going to look this sharp, well, I suppose it could be worse. Army Sergeant John Mann, on Channel News.